here is a Magnavox uh, black and white TV and I'm doing a CRT test on it. Now I I remember this actually came from Retro Electronics and I remember testing it when it, it when first got it and it seemed to produce light on the screen. Of course it's going to need new capacitors for really good performance but it seemed to produce some kind of a picture. So what I wanted to really do with this is to just double check my CRT tester and on this TV here which is the Dumont the CRT tested absolutely bad, 100% bad, no reading at all, and I thought that was kind of weird. So I thought, well, I better double check my tester and make sure it can actually uh, test a tube which probably has some emission on it. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to check it out here. And actually, I went ahead and did a, uh, I did a clean and balance on this one and it seemed to test really good. It was testing in the red before that but then it tested good after it. We'll check filament voltage. Filament at 6.3 and let it warm up here. And one thing I noticed here is to say is it says if cutoff on black and white tube cannot be adjusted set slide switch to G2 high and repeat cutoff adjustment procedure. And when I first was testing this Magnavox CRT, I couldn't get the, the cutoff to set at all. It wouldn't produce any reading. So I set this to G2 high. Now on this, I, I don't think I even noticed that little note in the book. So I was about ready to give up on this. I even, I tried, I don't know what I did with this thing. I think I tried to attach some wire onto the CRT pins but I'm gonna, I took the CRT socket off. I'm gonna try to re-solder this back on. I need to figure out which wire goes to which uh, terminal on that CRT. But I'll, I'll put this, maybe this CRT is actually functional. And another thing is, I actually found another one of these sets in an estate sale. So I've got another 21 FP4 picture tube now if I need it. The, the cabinet was in pretty bad shape, but the the set was complete. So I'm going to take my tester here home and try that other CRT on that other Dumont and see if I can get it to uh, produce a reading. But now I'll try the Magnavox CRT. I'm going to adjust cutoff and it seems to adjust really good. Okay, we'll set it to two marks above the initial. Let's check the quality here. And it checks pretty good. So it looks like this is good. This ought to be not too difficult of a restoration job. I'll go ahead and turn off the, the CRT tester. I think that this has got those, those maroon uh, mylar and paper caps in it. And from what I've, uh, what I've seen in personal experience, those caps won't cause damage like paper caps can by shorting out, or ha but they can have problems which, will ca which can cause improper operation. I mean theoretically they could short out, but I think they're a lot less likely to than paper is. So this will get a, a recap job done on it. And I'm uh, glad I have a good CRT. This is actually a, a CBS Palomar CRT so the CRT has been replaced. I can't really make out what the date is on it. Type is 21ATP4. So now, now I know I've got a good CRT in this and I know my CRT tester is working properly. So what I'll do is I'll test the CRT in the Dumont that I got at home and I'll try and put the CRT socket back on this one and retest it. Now, I really hope I didn't destroy the CRT in this poor thing by rejuvenating it several times and turning up the heater voltage to 8 volts. And I tried just about everything I could think of to rejuvenate this poor thing. So, if, if I messed it up beyond repair, then that's just a lesson learned. I've now got a replacement that hasn't been messed with at all. 
but maybe it was just that the CRT tester switch was in was in the uh, needed to be in the G2 high position.